Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. Today I'll be showing you how to do chip bag mock-ups. Um, this is another requested tutorial I've been getting a lot lately. Um, the way I'm going to show you is I do use my phone. I have an Android phone and I'll be using the app PixArt. Now, there's other ways to do mock-ups. Me personally, I do them on my phone and I hope you can do them too. Um, what are mock-ups? Uh, mock-ups are a digital picture of the item you're actually customizing. So again, these are chip bags. The digital image will look like chips. Now, personal opinion, I don't like doing a lot of mock-ups because again, some customers get confused or um, I have seen some other uh, customers, not me personally, but some customers on Etsy, whatever, I've seen reviews thinking that they're actually going to get like an actual chip bag that looks like an actual chip bag when uh, again, it's just imprinted um piece of paper, and then they get mad and give Etsy shoppers bad reviews, thinking that they're gonna get chip bags, but they got something printed. So that's why I personally like to print my stuff, and I'll show the customer how it looks. Um, again, I'm using an Android phone, and I'm using the app Pix Art. So the first thing that I will do is I will go to Google. And I'm going to look for chip back mock-up PNG. And I will click on images. And then I'm personally going to use this one. And then you will screenshot this and say it was automatically going to save on your phone. So I'm going to screenshot this. So I already have it saved. And um, I forgot. The first thing also you need to do is email yourself your chip bag image. So I already showed you how to do your chip bags. So all you have to do is save that file as a PDF file and email it to yourself. And then um, go on your email on your phone and save that PDF file on your phone. Okay. After you do all this, you save the um, PDF file on your phone and you screenshot it. This chip bags. Then I am going to go to my app. Pix art right here that purple Pix art um with the letter p and it's a free app on google on the google play store sorry and then after i saved it i am going to go down here where it has that blinking purple and pink button i'm going to click on there i am going to click on the um chips that i uh screenshot it and then I'm going to go right here in the bottom where it says, it will say gold tools, effects, and beauty. So I'm going to click where it says tools. And then on the first one, we'll say crop. So I'm going to crop all that extra stuff out of uh, the image. And then I'm going to click the check mark on the right top corner. After um, I have this image, now scroll to your right on the bottom. I hope you can see this. So it will say tool effects beauty all that sticker where it says cutout is a picture of some scissors click on the cutout and then you could either um click on the little person that shows in the bottom click on that and then everything that's red that's what you're actually going to keep so basically this is another way that i'm showing you that this is how you do transparent background images so everything that's red is what you're going to keep and the only thing i need is the image of the chip bags so you will click on the little brush and if you click on the brush right here it says size you can literally bring the size down so you know what you're using and i am using my finger and then start selecting the entire chip bags the eraser tool now to erase all those marks that I messed up and you could also zoom in
I'm gonna leave it like this just for the tutorial but again um uh, make sure is how you like it so after you're done and just um put everything in red of the chip bags right here it says save on the right top corner so click on save and then this is will be like your template so then you're gonna um click on the arrow on the top right that's gonna be save it and then it's saved in your phone and then click save once that is saved click on done exit the ad done now this is the second step you need to go um go back here on the purple um button and then right here in all photos find the picture of the chip bags that you saved on your phone so right here you need to crop this into three so you first need to crop the middle out which you go to tools you go to crop and then just crop out the middle so all you need is the middle just like that and then click on the arrow to keep and then click on the arrow again to save it and done now you need to do this again go back to the chip bags crop out the right you go to tools crop crop out the right I mean the left I keep saying right left check mark the arrow save and save and then we're going to do it again for the right tools crop and then let's crop out the left check mark arrow and save save and done now go back to the button click on the um chip bag mock-up that the chip bag template that we did you're gonna click on that and this is what you have now scroll in the bottom where it says add photo click on add a photo and click on the image that you cut out that was the center of your chip bags click on that and click on add and then expand this to cover your entire um chip bag that you did so cover it up the whole entire thing just like that and then now scroll in the bottom where it says blend click on blend and then scroll where it says multiply and it's going to blend into the chip bags if y'all can see that now you're going to click on the check mark and then you're going to if you need to make any adjustments or whatever you can do like you know um right here where it says tools crop and you could crop a little bit of that bottom out and crop a little bit of the top out and then check mark and you have that click on the arrow click on save and save and done now go back to the button i'm sorry if it's a lot of steps but this is what i do and then click back under chip bags um, go back in the bottom where it says add photo now you're gonna add the two that are supposed to go in the back so you're gonna click on the first photo and then the second one and add two photos and then you're going to add this one on your left expand it and leave a little space of white in the middle Make sure your borders are even. Okay, now once your rectangle is selected, then you go in the bottom and it says blend and then click on multiply. That one's blended Then click on the one on the left. Press on blend and multiply and that should be um, blended. Now click on the check mark. Again, if you need to crop anything from the bottom, go to tools, crop, crop anything from the bottom. Like that. Click on the check mark, then the arrow, save and save. Now you have two chip bags saved, um, the front and the back. And how I put everything together is I will go back to the um button, 
and I will click a border. There's borders already here, but again, you can go to Google and save some, um, and I'll do it with you so you can see how I do it. So let's say this is a St. Patrick's ship bag. So I will look for St. Patrick's background right here. Click on images. Look for one that you would like. Well, I'm going to click on this one. Screenshot it. Go back to PixArt. Click on the picture that you just um, screenshot it. Go to Tools to crop all that out that you don't need out of this picture. Click on the check mark. It's cropped. Now down here, go to Add Photo. And click on the two chip bags that we just did. So one and two and click on add. Then click on the first one and add it however. Like if you want to tilt it or make it bigger. Then this one put it right here. Like that. And always add your, you could click the check mark that you um, satisfy. Go back to add photo. And if you have your logo saved to your phone, add your logo. Add. Just like that. Then click on the check mark. Click on the arrow to save it. Save it. Save it. Done. Now when you go to your gallery. This is the one that we just did and that's it. That is your image and that is your mock-up and you can upload this anywhere, anywhere you would like and that is your mock-up. Again, I appreciate y'all for watching this tutorial. If you have any more requests, please comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate all my new supporters and keep on liking all my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Bye-bye.